Clap a hand to Jesus. Give him praise better you can. God is after his word. Mungu anaangalia neno lake. God he cannot be against his word. Mungu hawezi kuwa kinyume na neno lake. When God is saying you will succeed. Mungu akisema utafanikiwa. You will succeed. Utafanikiwa. Because God is not a human being. Kwa sababu Mungu sio mwanadamu. That he can lie. Hata aseme wewe. He is more after his word. Analitazama zaidi. No, no matter what people they will speak. Haijalishi watu watasema nini. No matter what your enemy they will speak. Haijalishi adui zako ataongea. But no one thing the one who promises to give his only begotten son he give us so he will never change he remain the same god yesterday today and forevermore just our work that we need to have is to put our faith you don't need to care what people they are saying about you So 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 you know your word you, you know the word of people is not the word of God and God is not more concerning the what people they are saying about your life God is more after his word because his word that makes him to be God not a human being so why are we afraid of the human being you will fail You will never go anywhere. You are a failure person. You are a cast person. But I want to assure you. If there's the word of God upon your life. No matter what people they speak about you. There is no way they can pull you down. Because God you remain God. God is not a human being. He cannot change what he speaks. He cannot attain his promise. He is not a human being at all. He is more concerning about you. And he knows your value. You are so valuable before God. You are so valuable before God. Remember he said, for those who call upon my name, they shall be saved. Remember he said, you whosoever accept this Christ, he is my son. He is my son. So as long as you accept Jesus Christ, you are the child of God. You are the child of God. So meaning, meaning, devil he cannot take his glory to you. Never. There is no way. Devil he can take glory for you. Never it won't be. Why? You are for God. You are the child of the most high God. You should not worry about the circumstances. That's why for those who accept this Christ, God is good all the time. For those who know God, God is good all the time. And all the time God is good. So one thing you need to know, the prayer that you pray, God is not ignore. He is a God of time. He is a God of time. He is a God of time. When he promised something, there is no way he can lie. He promised our father in first Ibrahim that he will give his son. He fulfilled his promise. Why he fulfilled? He was showing generation that I God I cannot lie. I cannot be against my word. I am always in my word. So you are pain. You are complaining. Lack of understanding. Crying. Listen to me. Cannot stop God to do what he promised you. He can, he cannot. You can have your seat. So when God He's saying you are mine. No matter what people they will speak. Because God always he remain God. He has his own condition. Not the human condition. That God. The true God he has his own condition. When he said I love this man he has his own condition. Not a human condition. The Bible is telling us when God he spoke to prophet Samuel go to the house of Jesse I found my king there. The king that will please my heart. 
that he pleased my heart. He went there. Okay. So, Kwayo. Jesse bring all the sound that he had. Yes, the, the, the best. You see them the best. Before him. The best before him. That they can save God. But God is said, Jesse. You have your own condition. Your own condition. But all the people all your sons that you use condition that you have that can please me they are not mine I have my own I have my own son inside your house I saw somebody he's just a small boy I know I saw his heart not his body no no I saw his heart I saw his heart that he can save me in the pain he can call me in the trial he can trust me no matter circumstance it is wrong there is no way he can run away from me it is true at the end of the day David he became the man after God's heart why? God he has his own condition so just know one thing if you are a Christian it's God himself he brought you close to him because we are not we are not born again with our own ability there is the grace that helps us to be born again it's the grace so meaning as a human being some, sometimes people they may think like hey, you know this one for, but God he has his own condition David is so and so and so David said God is saying he's a man after my heart so what praise God that's why if you're a Christian you should not doubt God don't doubt God. No matter what pain. Your prayer cannot be ignored before God. God is a God who hears our prayer. He is hearing our prayer. For those who call upon my name. Whosoever ask anything to my father in my name. Shall be given. Shall be given. You get what I'm saying? So meaning, God, he cannot ignore our prayer. When you ask mercy, God, he will give you mercy. When you ask forgiveness, God, he will forgive you. When you need help, God will help you. When you need healing, God will heal you. When you need deliverance, God will deliver you. When you need breakthrough, God will help you. See, if, even if you want him to show you the greatest love, he will show you. He will never, he will never be against his word. Never. Never. He is a promise maker. Never, never, never. He did not let down Hannah, the mother of Samuel. He let him, he let her down. No. No. He promised to give her son. He gave him son. He gave him son. And then the day, Hannah is said, the kind of this love is the heavy love. Praise God. I was crying before God. And God, he heard my cry. And he answered my prayer. We need to believe in our time now that God is healing your prayer. No matter which kind of the time it will take, our prayer cannot be in vain. Never. Come. It won't be. So at the end of the day, what Hannah did, he give back his charge to God. What the future of Samuel become great. Become what? Great. Why become great? Because he taught heart to heart. 
God he used his love Mungu alitumia upendo wake to give Hana the baby kumpa Hana mtoto and Hana he saw his the love of God na Hana akaona ule upendo wa Mungu he said this son that you give me sema huyu mtoto ni yeye is not mine sio wa kwangu you showed me the great love amenionyesha upendo mkubwa i'm giving back to you na kurejeshea tena wewe now sasa the nations mataifa generation visas we are preaching tunahubi and talking na kuzungumza about someone habari za samuel why kwa nini it's because god ni kwa sababu mungu is faithful ni mwaminifu praise the lord there is no way you can cry and the god he can be silent hakuna namna unaweza kulia na mungu akawa kimya he is not a silent god sio mungu mkimya He is not a silent god. Sio Mungu mkimi. I know what I'm saying. Najua anachosema. He is not a silent god. Sio Mungu mkimi. Among the things that I've experienced in my life. Kati ya vitu na uzoefu navyo katika maisha yangu. Most of the time as you know my life I'm going to the mountain prayer. Wakati mwingi kama unavyojua maisha yangu naenda katika mlima wa maombi. More in the mountain prayer. Zaidi sana kwenye mlima wa maombi. More in the mountain prayer. Zaidi kwenye mlima wa maombi. I realize one thing. Nilitambua kitu kimoja. God, Mungu he is not silent. Hayupo kimya kabisa. When you see yourself you are breathing, unapona kwamba unapumua, is because God. Ni kwa sababu Mungu is not silent. Hayupo kimya in your life. Kwenye maisha yako. It's enough to know. Inatosha kujua that God, kwamba Mungu is not silent. Hayupo kimya in your life. Kwenye maisha because you are breathing. Kwa sababu unapumua. If God is silent, kama Mungu angekuwa kimya, and he make you to breathe, na akakufanya uendelee kupumua just no one thing fahamu kitu kimoja god he cannot ignore your prayer mungu hawezi kuyapuuza maombi yako you know sometimes we may fast wakati mwingine tunaweza kufunga pray na kuomba but we we, we don't see quickly what we ask for lakini hatuoni kwa haraka kile tunachokiomba but it doesn't mean that god don't hear our prayer lakini hiyo haimaanishi kwamba mungu asikii maombi yetu the issue is not god to answer la swala sio mungu kujibu at our time kwa wakati wetu the issue is god to hear our prayer la msingi ni mungu kusikia maombi yetu tuna the god he heard our prayer kujua kwamba mungu amesikia so if we have faith that god have heard our prayer tukiona imani mungu amesikia maombi yetu we relax tunatulia because we know kwa sababu tunajua he cannot be silent he is not a thief god sio mungu mwizi he is not a liar god sio mungu mwongo so if he heard our prayer kwa sababu amesikia maombi yetu meaning he will answer our prayer meaning he will give us the result of what we need ya kile tunachohitaji let's go huyo ni mungu but lakini do we have the heart tuna moyo do we have the heart tuna moyo God can save. Mungu anaweza kuokoa. God can save. You. Mungu anaweza kuokoa. God can change a human being. Mungu anaweza kumbadilisha mwanadamu. God can change a human being. Mungu anaweza kumbadilisha mwanadamu. From dark to light. Kutoka gizani kuingia nuru. He has that ability. Ana uwezo huo. He is more powerful. Ana nguvu sana. No matter how devil. Haijalishi shetani. He will destroy a person. Atamharibu mtu. But when God is appear in that Lakin person. Mungu akitokea. Life will change completely. Maisha yanabadilika kabisa. Because the power of God is beyond kwa sababu nguvu ya Mungu human power ni ngambo ya nguvu za kibinadamu any kind of the power that you know kila aina ya nguvu na so that's why kwa ndio maana in our life kwenye maisha yetu respect everyone muheshimu kila mtu you do not tomorrow how we do kesho respect everyone muheshimu kila mtu love everyone Pende kila because mtu. you don't know tomorrow kwa sababu hujui kesho because it's not a story kwa sababu sio hadithi god Mungu. he can change a person anaweza kumbadilisha mtu god Mungu. he can change a person anaweza kumbadilisha mtu he can do it anaweza kufanya hivyo He can do it. Anaweza kufanya hivi. So it's not just a story. Kwa hiyo sio hadithi tu. As a human being story. Kama hadithi za kibinadamu. Or just a preaching. Au mahubiri tu. When you're talking about God. Unapomzungumzia Mungu. You're talking about God. Unapomzungumzia Mungu. He cannot ignore a human being. Hawezi kumpuuza mwanadamu. Never. Come. Because the only man who know the value of the human being. Kwa sababu mtu hajuae thamani ya mwanadamu. The one who know the value of our soul. Anajua thamani ya nafsi zetu. It is only Jesus Christ. Ni Yesu Kristo pekee. He know the value of our soul. Anajua thamani ya nafsi zetu. That's why he said before heavenly father. Ndio maana akamwambia 
send me. I'm ready to die for them. I'm ready to save them. You can see the prayer that he paid Jesus Christ for us. So many. That's why devil in our life is more to kill. To destroy. And to steal. To steal what? So many. Every human being has something great inside. Kila mwanadamu ana kitu kikubwa ndani yake. Every human being. Kila mwanadamu. There's something what? Great. Ana kitu kikubwa inside ndani yake. Because God not allow you to be born kwa sababu Mungu hajaruhusu uzaliwe for no reason. Bila sababu. There's a mission of God inside every human being. Kuna mkakati wa kiungu ndani ya kila mwanadamu. The mission of God inside every human being. Ndani ya kila mwanadamu. Inside. Ndani every human being. Ya kila mwanadamu. There the gift of God. Kuna kipawa cha Mungu. So why the Bible is telling us? Kwa nini Biblia inatuambia that devil kwamba shetani he can steal. Anaweza kuiba. He can steal what? Anaweza kuiba kitu gani? Meaning maana ya something that he is inside the children of God. Maana yake ni kitu kilichoko ndani ya watoto wa Mungu. So us as a human being we have something value inside us. Devil is against it. Shetani yuko kinyume cha kitu hicho. It's against. Yuko kinyume. Because what we have inside The main purpose is to show the greatness of God on earth. Ni kuudhihirisha ukuu wa Mungu hapa duniani. Praise God alone. Are we together? He's coming to steal. Anakuja kuiba. But most of us, lakini wengi wetu, we are reading. Tunasoma, the way his work is to steal. Kwamba shetani kazi yake ni kuiba. To steal what? Kuiba kitu gani? He cannot come devil to steal your money. Shetani hawezi kuja kuiba fedha zako. That is not his target. Hiyo sio shabaha yake. Devil we cannot come to steal maybe your fruit there. Shetani hawezi kuja kuiba matunda yako pale. There is something great inside of you. Kuna kitu kikubwa kipo ndani yako. That God is put he put in you. Ambacho Mungu ameweka. Devil is against that thing. Shetani yuko kinyume na kitu hicho. Praise God Hallelujah. Sifu Mungu Hallelujah. Who knows that Rahab was she was obedient woman? Ni nani aliyejua kwamba Rahab alikuwa ni mwanamke mtii? Who knows it? Ni nani alijua? In the city of Jericho, katika mji wa Jericho She was a pursuit. Alikuwa ni kahaba, but inside her heart, lakini ndani ya moyo wake, she was a woman of fear God. Alikuwa ni mwanamke mwenye kumhofu Mungu. That's why God, no matter all the way, he went to spoke to Rahab. Akaenda moja kwa moja kuzungumza na Rahab. My people were there in the seed. Wako katika mji huu. They will enter in your house. Wataingia nyumbani kwako. So please. Kwa hiyo tafadhali, keep them wahifadhi and don't tell the people this seed that they are, they are in your house. Na usiwaambie watu wa mji huu kwamba wako nyumbani kwako. He said yes sir. Akasema ndiyo bwana. So many. Maana yake even though she was a pursuit. Ingawa alikuwa kahaba but she had the heart of fearing God. Lakini alikuwa na moyo wa kumwogopa. That's why she obey what God he told her. Ndio maana alitii kile ambacho Mungu alimwambia. Praise God alleluia. Sifu Mungu alleluia. You can see but outside she was what a pursuit lakini kwa nje alikuwa ni kahaba so we have something great there are some people they are drunk there are some people they are smoker but you know one thing them to be a smoker and a drunk it doesn't mean they are useless before god no 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 no, no. they are something before god there is a time kuna wakati of god to change a person wa kumbadilisha mtu there is a time kuna wakati every human being kila mwanadamu can become like the way God he want him to be anaweza kuwa kama jinsi ambavyo Mungu anamtaka au among the thing that devil is fighting kati ya vitu ambavyo shetani anapigana nayo he know the value anajua thamani of a person ya mtu to walk in God's will kutembea katika mapenzi ya Mungu you know the value anajua hiyo thamani because if you walk in God's will kwa sababu kutembea kwenye mapenzi ya Mungu there will be no more losing kutakuwa hakuna kupoteza tena there will be more success kutakuwa na baraka zaidi so among the things that devil is after is against for kati ya vitu ambavyo shetani yuko kinyume nacho first of all 
kwanza kabisa first of all kwanza kabisa before stealing kabla ya kuiba stealing meaning using what you have kuiba maana yake ni kutumia ulichonacho for its own benefit kwa manufaa yake as you are seeing now kama unavyoona there are most of singer they are singing word song kuna watu waimbaji wengi wanaimba nyimbo za kidunia meaning maana yake those praise what supposed to be for god zili pastor ziende kwa mungu but he diverted them lakini akazi and he still what they have iba. And they see what they have. Na kaiba alichokuwa nacho, walichokuwa nacho. So now he's using what he ha- they have. Kwa hiyo sasa anatumia walicho nacho. To praise him. Kumsifu yeye mwenyewe. Praise God yes. Sifu Mungu alichokuwa. So he's still. Kwa hiyo ali ameiba. First he diverts. Kwanza amewa. Second he's still. Pili akawa akaiba. He still what is Ame, inside them. Ameiba kilicho ndani yao. So he's using. Kwa hiyo anakitumia for his praise. Kwa ajili ya sifa zake. You sing people they are just praising words song you know not what one is singing it nicely but but like you can see those people if they could praise god hebu fikiria how watu kama wangemsifu mungu how the word could be ulimwengu huu ungekuacha how the word could be ulimwengu ungekuacha but devil he did to work lakini shetani amefanya kazi mbili to work amefanya kazi mbili first kwanza he divert amewatoa kwenye kusudi second he he still what there inside ameiba kilicho ndani yao praise god hallelujah sifu mungu he do what he still what is what inside them ameiba kilicho ndani yao he is using for his own what na anakitumia kwa sifa zake mwenyewe praise god hallelujah sifu mungu hallelujah that's why ndio maana if you are a christian kama wewe ni mkristo God he give you a chance to discover Mungu amekupa nafasi ya kutambua who you are wewe ni nani hold it Shikilini. better you can vizuri kadiri uwezavyo pray better you can omba kadiri uwezavyo ask help better you can omba msaada kadiri uwezavyo why Kwa because ni? devil he has a jealous kwa sababu shetani ana wivu god he give him position Mungu alimpa nafasi He give him a great calling. Akampa wito mkuu. He give me a, wild, a nice voice. Akampa sauti nzuri sana. He was a best praise. Alikuwa ni mwimbaji mzuri sana. With a nice voice. Akiwa na sauti nzuri. But pride take place. Lakini eh, majivu, kiburi kilichukua nafasi. And he lose the position. Na akaipoteza nafasi. So now, kwa hiyo sasa, now, sasa he is not happy with everyone who praise God. Hana furaha tena na mtu yeyote anayemsifu Mungu. The people who receive most a strong attack those who praise God. Ni watu wanaopokea wanaoshambuliwa zaidi ni wale ambao wanamsifu Mungu. Do a research. Wewe chunguza. The more they are going up. Kadiri wanavyozidi kwenda juu, shut them down. Anawaangusha chi. You see one here? Unaona mwaka mmoja tu. You don't see another person anymore. Haumuoni huyo mtu tena. You don't see a person singing anymore. Huwezi kumuona mtu akiimba. You see they are in business. Unamuona kwenye biashara huko. He finished the work. Amemaliza kazi. Praise God hallelujah. So why I'm saying this? Kwa hiyo kwa nini nasema hivi? It's not a just a story. Sio hadithi tu. God he can change a human being. Mungu anaweza kumbadilisha mwanadamu. Just put your faith. Weka imani yako. Keep watching POG Family TV. Jesus Christ loves you.